In my last video, we took a look at the Galaxy J7, one of two phones launched by Samsung that are to be exclusively sold online. In this video, let's take a look at the other, the Galaxy J5. Hey guys, this is Ash from C4E Tech and you're watching my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy J5. The Galaxy J5 is built similar to the J7, but it's smaller. That's thanks in large to the smaller 5-inch display that it sports. It's still an HD display, 720p Super AMOLED to be precise. This gives the J5 a pixel density of 294 pixels per inch. That's reasonably sharp, and being a Super AMOLED display, it looks nice with punchy colors and deep inky blacks. To the front, on top, we have a front-facing flash. Well. It's not actually a flash, but rather an LED that you can turn on or off for selfies. Then there's an earpiece, sensors, 5 megapixel front facing camera. Below that we have Samsung branding, followed by the 5 inch display. At the bottom we have the familiar physical home key flanked by the capacitor of recent apps and back keys. Once again, note that these keys are in backlit. To the back we have an LED flash, a 13 megapixel rear camera and a speaker. Lower below we have the Samsung branding again, followed by the Duo's branding. The back is user removable and inside we find two SIM slots, a microSD slot and a user replaceable 2600mAh battery. The J5 is 7.9mm thick and weighs in at about 145 grams. and given the form factor, it should be comfortable to hold and use single-handed. Moving on, underneath the hood, the Galaxy J5 is powered by a 64-bit Snapdragon 410 chip. That's four Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.2GHz each, coupled with an Adreno 306 GPU and 1.5 gigs of RAM. Though Samsung calls this a phone meant for gaming, in my honest opinion, the Adreno 306 GPU isn't a GPU meant for gaming. But then again, for what it's worth, Samsung has thrown in some extras that might just justify calling the J5 a gaming phone. In association with Gameloft, the J5, just like the J7, would ship with an app called GameZone on board. This app provides you game credits for up to 3200 rupees for these 4 games. If you are interested in any of these games, this might just be a great deal for you. Anyway, the Galaxy J5 runs on the latest Android 5.1 Lollipop with TouchWiz on top. TouchWiz features like the ultra power saving mode, the smart manager and even a theme engine to customize the look of the UI are all present and accounted for. You even get 100 gigs of OneDrive storage but there are some features that Samsung omitted. Backlit capacitive keys, haptic feedback, multi-window and even basic ones that you'd find on phones that are sold at half the price like an auto brightness sensor or a secondary noise cancelling microphone to name a few. Anyway, under the pros column, the J5 does have support for USB OTG. Even the camera seemed decent. The shutter speed's fast with a lot of modes including the pro mode that debuted on the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. And in the limited time that I got to spend with the J5, it felt pretty responsive. It felt fast and snappy enough that despite the omissions, the J5 does seem to be one of the better phones from Samsung at this price range. Anyway, talking about the price, the Galaxy J5 is priced at 11,999 rupees and just like with the J7, when you take into account the gaming credits and uh, it will use us getting double the data for 6 months, the J5 might just be another halfway decent package from Samsung. Anyway, more on that in the full review once I've spent more time with this phone. By the way, this J5 that you see in this video is also a pre-production unit running on non-final firmware, so things might change from now to when it starts shipping. So. That means I can't test it right away. I'll have to wait for Samsung to send me the final units to begin testing. I'm just letting you guys know that the review is going to take a little longer. Anyway, with that we get to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, vote it down and do let me know what you feel I could do different. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. If you do want to help the channel out, do consider changing your Flipkart URL to one with the affiliate code so that we get a little something each time you shop. So I guess that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.